Hello, I'm Abby Huntsman, and you are in the strategy room. Side-by-side -side polling that's burning around the web shows Clinton is actually doing worse in the national polls now than she was in a similar pre-Iowa period in 2008. Bernie Sanders continues to close the gap on several fronts, spelling trouble ahead for Clinton, even as Sanders still is cast by many as, unelectable, as an unelectable candidate. So how serious is this for Hillary, and what is she doing about it? Well, here to weigh in, our executive director, NYS Democratic Party, Basil Smichael Jr. and CEO of the American Civics Exchange, Flip Pidot. Guys, thanks so much for being with Thank us. You. Basil is our Democrat in the room. <laughs> how concerned should Hillary Clinton be? Because you look at the polling and you hear how she's talking about it, how Republicans are talking about it. No one's even mentioning Bernie Sanders, and yet he's right up there with her. Well, but what's interesting is that no matter what happens, uh, whether he's mentioned or not, he always seems to have these great fundraising days. Right. Sort of, you know, a million, a million donors, a million dollars here, a million dollars there. So people are clearly paying attention. I think uh, for Hillary Clinton's campaign, my guess is that they were expecting this. They would expect that as we get closer to Iowa and New Hampshire, the polls would tighten, which means that the infrastructure, what they have on the ground, becomes that much more important. There have been questions about electability around Bernie Sanders. Does he have that kind of organization on the ground? And I think that's where the rubber. rubber I was going to meet the road here. I do think that Hillary, even though she was not in a similar position in 08, would have learned from that experience and uh, been able to actually say, okay, our numbers are going to tighten, no question about it, but then how do we overcome that? So mm. I hope that, that, you know, if you're a Hillary supporter, you would hope that they've planned for this. Yeah, you would hope so. Flip, even last night, though, in the Republican uh, debate on Fox Business, Chris mm -hmm. Christie saying, you know, Bernie Sanders is a friend of mine. He's not going to be president of the United States. <laughs> so you have Republicans saying this, too. But what is the reality? Is there a chance here that Bernie Sanders could come and surprise Hillary Clinton? Should she be prepared for that? She should be prepared. I think, um, I think this is the nightmare that Hillary has been having for the last eight years, that the same thing that happened to her in 2008 when she was inevitable uh, would happen again in, in 2016. She was inevitable right up until she wasn't. And her numbers have fallen off even faster than they have in, in 2008. And, and what's got to concern her even more is the fact that there's still this huge... Um, you know, headwind uh, uh, that she confronts in the in the name of this FBI investigation. There's mm. only more bad stuff that's going to come out, um, and it's now expanded to the Clinton Foundation. You can see in response they're starting to put Chelsea out on the trail as the new attack dog. She's coming out with new. That's you know, when you know there's trouble. Absolutely, <laughs> but, but well. she's moving further left with new proposals about raising the estate tax and raising you know, t taxing the rich more to try and get the conversation off of her troubles and onto kind of the you know. Uh, red meat for for the left wing, I right. think, um, and you know she 's now under fifty percent nationally for the first time, at least the first time in months, and uh, you know, slipping in Iowa well behind in New Hampshire uh, seems to still have a firewall intact in South Carolina, but is it too late in South Carolina several weeks from now if she loses the first two states, if more bad headlines right. come out about the criminal probe uh, and her national numbers continue to slide, I, I think she has serious reason to be concerned. Basil, mm -hmm. the, the challenge that, that I see for her, and I think a lot of people have mentioned this, is the lack of excitement for Hillary Clinton, and that's exactly what Bernie Sanders has. You know, you see the people that come out for him, people that are, as you mentioned, raising money for him, mm -hmm. not just because they feel like he's the next person in line, but because they genuinely love Bernie Sanders mm -hmm. and they want him to be their president. Question is, does that excitement translate to the polls? Does that actually mean that people are going to get out and vote for him? Well, that's, that is the big question, and a lot has to do with the, with the campaign calendar. You know, what happens in Iowa will have a lot to say about what happens in New Hampshire and how, you know, if Bernie Sanders, for example, uh, uh, wins New Hampshire, then I think there's a little bit of a reset when we, by the time we get to South Carolina. Um, so yes, I think there's a big question as to whether or not that enthusiasm actually translates to um, intent to go out and actually vote. My guess is that it does. Um, and speaking to Hillary's enthusiasm, I think she is a known candidate. I think that's the challenge. I, some people will use the term inevitability, and I understand that, but what I would actually say is that she's such a known quantity. Um, that people, it's harder to build that kind of momentum and a movement necessarily in, in similar to what mm. you saw with Barack Obama. But that doesn't necessarily mean that her, her support is not there and it's not solid behind her. It's just different. Um, and, you know, so my guess is that uh, she's this known candidate and people will say, no, you know, I will go and, and support her even mm. if they don't have the same, you know, if, even if they're not doing it in the same way that they would for Bernie Sanders. I mean, she should be concerned about Bernie Sanders, but, but flip very quickly, I think she also, also should be very concerned about Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. I mean, that matchup would be very interesting to see. Mm. 
Uh, <laughs> it would, although I think if you were to ask her, that's probably the candidate she'd like to go up against. He says that, but um, and who wants to go up against Donald Trump, honestly? Well, I, I mean, he's I a wouldn't. tough one. He's, he's, yeah. he's very good at those he attack is, lines. He's immune, he's immune to the normal rules of politics. You can mm -hmm. say things that are blatantly untrue, that are blatantly offensive. Right. And I think some of the other candidates have tried it. I think, again, going back to Ted Cruz, this is kind of, he felt, well, it's part of the uh, page from the Trump playbook. I'll say something that's going to offend New Yorkers, but maybe other people like it, and at least people are talking about me. Right. It's the kind of thing that tr Trump can do and go up 10 points in the polls. Cruz does it. He has the nor normal laws of political and gravity Bush apply to him, and they don't, they don't apply to Trump. Bush does it, and it's a disaster. Right. Right. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. All right, Basil Smichael Jr. and Flip Fido, thanks so much for being Thank here. You. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right, more on the 2016 presidential race. Go to foxnews.com. I'm Abby Huntsman. Thanks for watching.